How you doing? This is Carlos from NBS Audio and uh, got installed. Being installed 8.8 .8 DSP. I have it in the car. I've been running it for a week and like I promised I'm going to give you a in-car review. First I'd like to start by clarifying some mistakes I made last week. I said I wasn't going to use the DRC but it's mandatory. It turns out that the Wi-Fi is built into the DRC so it, you don't have to use it but it's got to be connected and it's got to be in the front of the car somewhere so I have mine in the center console. Um, reason it's bigger is because it's got the Wi-Fi built in. High res audio streaming can be done through Wi-Fi, optical, USB, or RCA if the head unit is high res capable. The app for the phone allows you to control. You don't need the DRC if you're using the phone app on the iPhone or Android. If you're using iPad, PC, or something with a larger screen, it will give you full control of the DSP. Uh, from the app, from the RC app, you can do volume, source, sublevel, and preset selection. So let me flip this around. So As you can see, I have the app downloaded on my Android phone, Windows PC, and MacBook Pro. Now I'm going to go over to the car and show you the DSP. Okay, app. there we have the 8.8 .8 completely installed. They went with a nice matte finish to match the finish on the SX2 amplifiers. I ran a toss link into my Pure i20 that way I could demo how easy it is to switch between sources. Here I have my Pure i20 set up and I have my iPad mini running the software. Sony is main source unit and there's the DRC down there now I want to show you as you adjust volume on the DRC it also adjusts on the screen it's pretty sweet when you see this light flashing you're connected to Wi-Fi and uh, there's data being transmitted between the iPad and the DSP now what I think I love the most about this DSP software is how quickly and easily you could do everything. As you can see, I only have high level selected as my only source currently, but I'm going to go in, just hold down that button, and it's going to ask me if I want to enable that input. Yes, I do. So now we have two inputs. Now we can switch between them. Switch back. When you're using the toss link input, you have to control the volume from obviously the DRC or from the iPod Touch itself. What's nice if you're using an Amp Pro with the toss link and the car has factory steering wheel controls, then you have a pure digital signal into the processor and then you retain your steering wheel controls if the car has steering wheel controls. So that's the best possible signal and you get to keep your steering wheel controls. Very few uh, processors on the market app offer that and adding the Amp Pro 4 to it gives you that ability. So it makes something that was normally really difficult, really easy. Now that we're done with demoing that, we're gonna go ahead and disable that input. That way I don't have to toggle between inputs that I'm not using. That one's disabled, so now there's only one source. I'm very happy with this processor, I think. Uh, my favorite thing about it is how you can add and change stuff without having to go through the entire configuration process all over again. All the other DSPs that I use, if you want to make a change, you have to go through the whole thing and tell it what inputs you're using and set your levels and set your gain, even if you just want to turn one thing on or one thing off. So I'm going to continue playing with it, and but so far, I think it sounds amazing. I think these guys did an excellent job with the hardware and the software. Thank you.
have a nice day. Okay, so in closing, I think the guys at Phoenix did a really great job with this DSP. It has everything you could possibly ask for. It has a ton of inputs, has a ton of outputs. You could stream high res audio without having to buy any additional parts. It just works straight out of the box. It has Toslink input and output. It's got, um, you can use any platform to connect to it. As I showed you before, it's on my Mac, it's on my PC, it's on my, and I actually used all the software to connect to it to make sure that it works. I just like using the iPad better because iPad battery lasts longer, the software seems to run faster on it. You see how quickly you can move in and out and it's just, you have, you don't have to use the DRC, you can hide the DRC, download the app to any phone, Android or iPhone, and you have your basic functions, control volume, sub volume, switch through your presets. I mean, what more could you possibly ask for out of a DSP? What I was most concerned with was that I was taking a really good DSP out of my car and putting this one in. My car was sounding really good. I was hoping that there was no drop in sound quality. Car still sounds the same. Car still sounds phenomenal. So now the car is all Phoenix. There's no other parts from any other company, that, which is what I really wanted. Two years I've been waiting for that. The It's another option in my arsenal. So now I think this is the sixth or seventh DSP that we now stock and offer for our clients. It fits, um, It fits. I, I believe it fits a hole in the, the category. I'm hoping that they come out with a less expensive version for cars that have aftermarket decks and don't necessarily need all those inputs and outputs. It'd be nice to see something come in at like um, $399 or $499 retail. But um, this piece is a contender. It's a really good piece. Works really fast. Has no noise. Um, these guys did a really great job and I'm happy. Thank you.